What's going on my beautiful bees? I hope you guys are all doing fabulous. How are you doing? Let me know down below. So this is going to be another snowboarding trip, what I eat. And uh, I had some freshly squeezed orange juice this morning. I've been really loving freshly squeezed orange juice. It is the bomb, baby. And then for the road, I uh, check this out. I got a whole bunch of grapes. And uh, you guys know, this this is where the healing is. This is where it's at. Got a lot of uh, filtration this morning and it's been going really good. So I'm gonna try to get more filming for the snowboarding. It's gonna be a fun day. Let's do this. <laughs> getting outdoors you guys I love snowboarding I love doing physical activities and something I'm trying to balance out and you may be in the same position is you know when you're doing these physical activities when you're doing lots of snowboarding you are burning a lot of calories and you know you're creating a lot of lactic acid too and uh, you know after a day of snowboarding I can for sure feel a lot of pain and on my muscles so you know as um, as I'm on this raw food journey raw living food journey trying to balance out how to you know keep doing what I love snowboarding cycling swimming all these great activities and you know get in enough calories so this is video is for you if you may be you know an athlete you are running whatever you're doing and you enjoy it how do we get in enough fuel and how do we uh, you know repair our muscles and so the best thing that I'm doing is keeping it alkaline and uh, you know keeping it anti-inflammatory too those anti-inflammatory foods are really really uh, needed after working out after exercising and so I wanted to just share with you one of the meals that I eat especially after doing a physical activity. Um, hopefully this will help you out. Um, it's really helping me out and it's really, you know, keeping, keep, it's making my, uh, giving me an easy recovery. So a lot of these foods are really helping with recovery and you'll notice a lot of them 
what I really, really love are the, the seeds. So hemp seed, chia seeds, pumpkin seeds. I'm loving those because they're high in minerals and that's something that we wanna, I'm really focusing on. So let's get into this recipe. I'm going to be making a smoothie bowl. So yeah, this is a smoothie. I know a lot of you want kind of something different and that will be coming out with that. But um, I just find like when you're working out, smoothie or you know, smoothie bowl is a great way to get in a lot of calories um, and a lot of nutrition. So this is uh, just in, in a short period of time as well. So let's get into it. I'll show you what I'm doing here. I got four frozen bananas here. So right away I just toss that into the Vitamix with some uh, dates and this is a lot this is going to be a lot of give you a lot of energy next what i do is i take some amla powder now this is one of the most this is a pretty high antioxidant berry so i take about oh that should be good teaspoon of that and next I take some chia seeds which are high in calcium so I put in you know a good teaspoon of chia seeds next I put in alfalfa so I put in a good teaspoon of alfalfa and hemp seeds so we put in quite a bit of hemp and then what I do is I like to top all this off with some greens so this people ask about protein the greens are really really where it's at and this is mixed greens so I don't know I think that should be good and then we're gonna make this into a nice smoothie bowl Enjoy this smoothie, high protein, raw vegan bowl. And uh, this is gonna fuel me up for the rest of the day so I can do it all over again. <laughs> Hope you guys enjoy these videos. As always, be alkaline, be yourself, and be getting in some raw food today. Cheers. Cheers. Mmm. <laughs>